What's up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Johnson. Before and today, I'm gonna do a little bit of a review of yesterday's live stream of Call of Duty Go's worldwide reveal of the multiplayer online world. And uh, one of the things I want to talk about are the graphics, the sound effects, the replay value, and uh, maybe an overall. Score. So uh, let's start by talking about the graphics. Now, the graphics are pretty much a little bit more enhanced. Like they actually added a little bit more to it from Modern Warfare 3 and uh, I think they did get a little bit better but not as much so not to say like oh it's wow you know like this thing is like a masterpiece no it's not um, you just need a little bit more time I'm guessing because it's still in development and uh, I think they can enhance a little bit more of the, of the graphics but I'm guessing that's the final product and if it is then uh, god damn it's kind of the colors are kind of dual like Modern Warfare 3, you know, the Modern Warfare 3 really lost their color after Modern Warfare 2. And I don't know what the hell the hell that happened, but uh, I'm guessing Call of Duty Ghost did lose a little bit more color. Not not as much, no, not exaggerately, but uh, a little bit more of color. So you can see some screenshots here. There's some stages with a lot of colors and some of them with no color. I'm like, god damn, you know, they're really going into like black and white. Might as well make it like that. <laughs> so, anyways, like the graphics are okay, I'm guessing. So, and I give it like a like one it could get better but they're not really getting better at all in the graphic department because it does look like modern warfare 3.5 like they add they just added a little bit of everything like maybe a little bit of color maybe a little bit of not color at all so i'm not sure but uh the graphics are a little bit more enhanced uh, the sound effects they're all right i really did not complain about the sound effects the weapon sounds pretty much uh clearly this time they're not like fucking like uh like overpowering sounds of the gunshots um this time they sound like for reals like it sounds like far away gunshots so uh i don't know uh the gunshots could really get better too so uh this time uh i give it uh maybe like around a 7.9 7.8 on sound effects they could get better uh i'm not sure but we need to get the full game in order for us to you know know more about the gunshots and more about the explosions and uh maybe some other stuff um getting destroyed and uh, that's another thing I want to talk about destructible environment uh, really do not help out the destructible environment it's just every time you th just throw a C4 at a wall uh, you guys saw that little part um, it really did not look pretty realistic like you, you don't see the, the the parts crumble up or nothing like that they just disappear that part just disappears so um, so yeah, I mean that adds more to the graphic department. So that's why I give it a seven point one because of the, of the destruction of the walls and stuff like that. They don't, they're not, they don't look really, really uh, realistic. Uh, what's another thing? The replay value of this thing. It looks pretty much fun since uh, special ops and maybe uh, survival mode has increased this time. And uh, and special ops they added more stuff to it. Like now you can use kill streaks and now you can use that. They added a lot more stuff and. Uh, which is a pretty th good thing to do since they need some kind of some kind of some kind of uh, other side of entertainment going on, just like Black Ops. You know how they have zombies. Well, Modern Warfare, I mean not Modern Warfare, Call of Duty Ghosts will have, uh, you know, special ops and survival mode. So uh, I give it a replay value of uh, maybe like a, of an 8.1. You know, because they add, they have added so much stuff like more game modes and stuff like that. So the replay value is going to increase because of that. So uh, so yeah. Um, that's about it. I wanted to just give it grades to those three departments and uh, overall grade of the game so far I'm giving it a 7.7 .7 or a 7.8. I'm not sure if you guys agree with me but that's what I'm giving it right now until the game release you know because we still need to get the full product uh, and then I'll do another review about it and see and tell you guys if it's good or not. So. Uh, so yeah guys, this is all for now. Make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what's up, and tell me what you think about the sound effects. Uh, tell me what you think about the graphics of, of Call of Duty Ghost, and tell me how, how you what you think about the you know the new game modes and special special ops and survival mode stuff. So uh, so yeah, I mean it sounds pretty fun how they're adding more stuff to it. So this is all for now, guys. I'll see you guys every day.